Hey guys, so today I have a pumpkin spice latte recipe for you guys. I've been playing around with a few ingredients trying to make the perfect recipe and I think I nailed it. So if you, like me, are a pumpkin spice everything lover, then you will enjoy this recipe. I promise you. It's super simple. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Here are a few of the things that you are going to need. So let me go ahead and turn this around so that you can see. So you're going to need pumpkin spice puree. I didn't find organic one, but this is organic. Um, I just bought this one so I could show you guys. You will need maple syrup, um, organic coffee or any uh, kind of coffee that you like. There. Um, pumpkin spice. Pumpkin pie spice. The good one right here. Um, vanilla extract. Cinnamon. You can either use a coconut milk or almond milk. It doesn't really matter. I just got this one because it's uh, lower in calories and lower in sugar. So this isn't sweetened because I'm going to be adding the sugar from here. And so I didn't want to do to overdo it. And then this is, um, if you choose to, it's not, this is optional. So a uh, coconut um, whip, whipped cream. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have our coffee right here. I have a breakfast blend. It's a light one because I'm trying to do something. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> so I'm trying to do something lighter. So here it is. You're gonna put it in the, in this case, the cure rag. Ooh, there you go. Coffee. Let's go ahead and do 10 ounces there and it will start to brew and how cute is my cup all right guys so here I have my organic pumpkin spice puree and it's gonna be on my notes here um, we're gonna do uh, two tablespoons of pumpkin spice here and the heat is about light to medium heat two after this we are going to add the maple syrup and it's one and a half tablespoons so I have this one one and a half tablespoons this one And there. And if you want to add less, then that is fine. That's your, you know, however you please to add. You can do half. It's fine if you don't like it to be too sweet. You're gonna go ahead and stir. And then from here, you're gonna add the pumpkin spice. Once again, I love it, so I like to add a decent amount of this. But if you are not you know, you don't like that strong taste of pumpkin spice, then don't add so much. <laughs> All right, now that you have the mixture here, you're gonna turn up the heat. And now, just the blender. Okay, so now we have, I'm gonna be using this blender. This one, I've had it for over, I wanna say like eight years. It was 20 bucks at Macy's and it was the best purchase I've made from there. Like seriously, this is, my jam just because it's easy to um, to wash and it's I have the nutri bullet but it's just so massive that I rather um, use this one um, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your coffee and you're gonna pour it into your blender then you're gonna get the mixture of the uh, pumpkin puree with the vanilla with the pumpkin spice and the maple syrup. The maple syrup is gonna give it that fall, um, you know, that fallish taste. I like using maple syrup for my recipes because, um, because of the way that this is processed. This is directly from the, the maple syrup tree. So there's not a lot of processing before it gets to your actual um, product. So there it is. I have it there. And then next, we're gonna be adding the vanilla extract. 
And then for the vanilla extract, it's very little. So it's gonna be half a tablespoon. Okay, so you're gonna do half there. And now you're gonna be adding the, okay, we have the organic coffee, we have the pumpkin um, puree, maple syrup, now we have the vanilla um, milk. Or I'm sorry, the almond milk. There, three fourths of a cup. There. Clean that because I don't like having a mess. OCD. And let me go ahead and we're gonna blend it. Very good. Make sure I seal it. Correctly, and I want to have a mess. Okay, now your drink is ready, and we still have one more step. And this is optional, this is up to you. You can have it like this, you can have it like this. You're gonna pour it into your cup, open, pour it into your drink or your cup, your mug, whatever you'd like. In there. See, it's nice and foamy. Look at that. All right, but we do have one more step, so let me go ahead and tell you what that is. So here you have it. It's so delicious, but I like to do an extra step. All right, guys, so do you remember that um, whipped cream? Yes, this is our last step, and this is optional if you like. So let me go ahead and just a little bit. There you go. Ooh, yes. Top it with some cinnamon. And lastly, a cinnamon stick. It is my delicious uh, pumpkin spice latte. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Mmm, so good. Mmm, mm hmm. I can taste the pumpkin spice, the pumpkin, and the coconut at the top. Mm. There it is, guys. Very easy to make, I promise you. Definitely, definitely gotta give it a try. And that cinnamon stick smells amazing. Yes. Give it a try. Let me know if you like it. Let me know, um, you know, if, if it's something that you would share with others. Hey, it doesn't have as many sugars as other um, lattes from other companies, and it is just as delicious. 